Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I've missed working with you. This is Mr. Dunlop, your music teacher. I hope you are being safe. I hope you're practicing safe social distancing, and I hope you're staying inside as much as possible. Because I'm not able to work with you in class twice a week, I'm going to be taping a series of music lessons to help you progress as musicians, even though you can't be at school in music class with me twice a week anymore for a while. So, I'm going to do this over the next two or three weeks, and my goal is to get you a new lesson, at least one new lesson every week. Today's lesson is going to be on clefs. You play a bass clef instrument. Now, if you remember, a staff has five lines and four spaces. We did that at the beginning of the year and in recorder class. How many lines does the staff have? If you said five lines, you're correct. How many spaces does the staff have? If you've said four spaces, you're correct. Now, how do we figure out what the notes are on a bass clef staff? We start from the bottom and we go to the top. So this is the first line. What's this line, everybody? First line, good. So we're going to say first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Everyone say it with me. First line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Again, first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Now let's do the same thing with spaces. This is the first space. Everyone say it with me. First space, second space, third space, fourth space. Again, first space, second space, third space, fourth space. Let's go back up to the line notes now. The first line note is G. What's the first line note? Good. So, the first line note's G, the second line note's B, the third line note is D, the fourth line note is F, and the fifth line note is A. Now everybody say the line notes with me. G, B, D, F, A. One more time. G, B, D, F, A. Now, how can you remember those five line notes? You can use the mnemonic device, good burritos don't fall apart. Everybody say that with me. Good burritos don't fall apart. Again, good burritos don't fall apart. Now, let's say that with the notes. Ready, go. Good burritos don't fall apart. One more time. Good burritos don't fall apart without me. Good job. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. That was good. Now let's try it just using the letters. Just the letters. G, we're doing it together. G, B, D, F, A. Again, G, B, D, F, A. Now, try it without me. Good job. Give yourselves another pat on the shoulder. That was good. Now we're going to move on to the space notes. The space notes are first space A. Everyone say first space A. Second space D C. Everyone say second space C. Third space E. Say third space E. And fourth space G. Everyone say fourth space G. Now say all of them. A, C, E, G. Again, A, C, E, G. Good. Now try it one time without me. How do you remember A, C, E, G? You say, all cows eat grass. Everybody say that. All cows eat grass. One more time. All cows eat grass without me. Now let's do it with the notes. All cows eat grass. Ready? You go. All cows eat grass. Again, all cows eat grass without me. Good job. Now let's just say the letter name now, not the whole all cows eat grass. We're just going to say the first letter. Ready? Go. A C E G. One more time. A C E G. E, G, without me. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourself a pat on the shoulder. That was good. 
Now, here's the really neat thing about how to practice. This is a really neat thing. Everyone hold your hand up. Okay, this can be a music staff. So if you can, get manuscript paper. Ask your parents to get you some manuscript paper. But if you can't, it's okay. You can use your hand to practice. I think I taught you this in recorder class. Anyway, hold up your hand. These fingers, they're your line notes. G, B, D, F, A. Good burritos don't fall apart. Again, good burritos don't fall apart. Here's your space notes. All cows eat grass. Again, all cows eat grass. Good job. Now, you could have somebody practice with you, someone you live with. They could be a brother or sister. They could be your guardian. And they could say, what's this note? You would say D. What's this note? This is G. So practice with someone who lives with you, or you can practice on your own. This is D. This is G. This is C. So use your hand to practice or get manuscript paper. Next, we will be going over instrument-specific notes. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Dunlop again. Our next lesson is going to be on notes. And how do I identify notes on a staff? Your instrument is either the trombone or the baritone. One of the first things you have to understand for note identification is the concept of key signature. Everybody say key signature. Good. Key signatures are either going to have sharps or flats. What are they going to have? Right, sharps or flats. The first key signature you learn on trombone or baritone is the key of B-flat. What key is it, everybody? Right, B-flat. The key of B-flat has two flats. This flat and that flat. Now, the nice thing about key signature is the flat or sharp is always on the note affected. So you have two flats in the key of B-flat. Now, what notes are they on? Let's find out. So, if you remember, we start from the bottom and go to the top. So, that first flat is on the second line. Now, what note is on the second line? Let's remember our saying. Good burritos don't fall apart. Everyone say that. Good burritos don't fall apart. Good job. So, good burritos. So, that first flat is on the note B. That tells us all Bs are flat. What does that tell us, class? Right, all Bs are flat. Now, let's look at the second flat. The second flat is on a space. It's on the third space. So, what note's on the third space? Remember, we say all cows eat grass. One more time. All cows eat grass. Good. All cows eat. So, that note is on, that flat, excuse me, not note, that flat is on E. What note is that flat on? It's on E, good. So that tells us all E's are flat. So, two flats mean all B's and E's are flat. What do two flats mean, everybody? All, if you said all B's and E's are flat, you are correct. Now that means every time you pick B or E, you have to say B flat or E flat, otherwise it's wrong, because you have to follow the key signature. So, your notes you're going to work on today are the notes B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and G. And anytime you say B or E, you have to look at the key signature and know that it's going to be B flat or E flat. So, where are those notes? B flat is on the second line. Did everyone say second line B flat. The next note is on second space C. Everyone say second space C. The next note is third line D. Everyone say third line D. Next note is third space E flat. Everyone say third space E flat. Next note is fourth line F. Everyone say fourth line F. Now the next note is fourth space G. Everyone say fourth space G. Good. That is where your notes are going to be. So now I'm going to show you the process for how to identify the notes with my clicker. So, ladies and gentlemen, I see that that note 
The first thing you have to ask yourself is, is this note a line note or a space note? So I look at that note and I see that it's a line note. Now the next question, what line is that note on? That note is on the second line. So I know that the second line, good burritos, I know the second line is B. Now, I'm going to click B because I know the second line is B. What? I got it wrong. No, the second line is B. Oh, I know what I did. I forgot to look at the key signature. So, I know the second line is B, but I got to look at the key signature. Oh, it's B flat. It's not B. So, ladies and gentlemen, the second line is B flat. Everyone say second line B flat. Good. Let's do another one together. So is that a line note or a space note? It is a space note. And I know it is on the fourth space. So the fourth space, all cows eat grass, G. So I click on G. So whenever you're going over a note, ask yourself, is this a line note or a space note? Then, you say, what line or space note is it on? No, you would say, what line or space is it on? Not what line or space note is it on. You would say, what line or space is it on? Then you go, okay, now do I have to check the key signature? So ladies and gentlemen, look at that note. What note is that? Think about it. So, I know that note is on the second line, and I remember I have to check the key signature because I forgot to do that the first time. And I know that note is B flat. So if you said that note is B flat, you're correct. If not, you just need more practice. It's okay. Let's do some more by yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, what is that note? That note is fourth line G. What is that note? That note is second line B flat. What is that note? That note is second space C. What is that note? That note is fourth space G. Ladies and gentlemen, what is that note? That note is fourth line F. What is that note? That note is second space C. What is that note? That note is second line B flat. And what is that note? That note is second space C. What is that note? That note is second line B, and what do we need to do? We need to check our key signature. Yes, B flat. Ladies and gentlemen, what is that note? That note is third space E flat. What is that note? That note is second space C. What is that note? That note is third line D. What is that note, ladies and gentlemen? That note is second space C. What is that note? That note is third space E flat. Because all E's are flat. What is that note, ladies and gentlemen? That note is F. And what is that note? That note is third space, excuse me, second space C. What is that note? That note is third line D. What is that note? That note is second line B flat. Always remember to check your key signature. Ladies and gentlemen, what is that note? That note is fourth line F. Ladies and gentlemen, what is that note? 
That note is second space C. What is that note? That note is third line D. What is that note? That note is third space E. What do we need to do? We need to check our key signature so we know it's E flat. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for participating in this lesson. If you got all the notes, awesome, congratulations. If you got most of them, good job. If you need more practice, that's okay. Keep up the good work. Use your hand like I showed you last time for your staff. And if you want or need more practice, the link to this specific exercise is in the description box below.